Good afternoon, Your Excellency. I'm uh, Ambassador Kanashiombori. I'm your African Union Ambassador to the United States. Mine is a comment. And I just wanted to thank you first and foremost for what you have done for the women of Rwanda. And hopefully you will duplicate that in the rest of the continent. For those of you who do not know, Rwanda has a 64% female cabinet. No country in the world comes in pa close. Parliament. Parliament, yes, Parliament, yes. 64%. Yeah. And 40 something in the cabinet. That's it. <laughs> So for that, we want to thank you. And uh, those are some of the things that we need to highlight as we engage our conversations about Africa. And to my sister, Ambassador, I wanted to say for you, to your students, you need to let your students know that for you, for you to be able to contribute to the development of Africa, first and foremost, you must stand up and be counted. Mm -hmm. We have no idea who you are and where you are. The Indian diaspora are organized. Their voices are loud and clear. The Chinese, the Indian, the Irish, the Japanese, you name it. The diaspora from other ethnic groups are very organized. When you ask for the voices of the African diaspora, go to the graveyard, because we are nowhere to be heard. Okay. So before the leadership can stand up and help us, they must know where we are and what we are doing. So tell your young people and you young men from Zimbabwe, stand up and be counted so we can speak for you. Thank I'm you. Sorry. Thank you. I think uh, uh, Dr. The, the African is. Union is well represented. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Your Excellency. First to say that I, we think that the African Union made a fantastic choice in sending you here. You're really a great ambassador. <laughs>